Huzzah! Your favorite crusader, Donnie Crusader, and welcome, guys, back to The Remnant. This is a very special episode. This is a collab with Ally Warrior and her gang on her side of the story of The Remnant population. So please be sure to go check out her channel for her perspective on this episode. It ain't totally the same, but there are similarities. Now, on to the episode. Okay. Hey guys, it's Don the Crusader, and I want to address one thing. The majority of you guys are watching the channel are not subscribed. So please, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button to get notified when things happen on the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next crusade. Please share the videos. <laughs> oh, I hate doing these late night bounties. Okay, there's someone in town. What in the world is going on over there? Looks like this dude's partying down here, I tell you. So, are you good? I guess you are. What's that noise? Sounds like someone's working on some type of vehicular machine out there. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, hi, Doc Colt, bounty hunter. You're not gonna say anything? Listen, ma'am, I'm here looking for a new bounty. I believe the man just went in town and he came into this establishment. He's wearing a red vest and... I can see why you're not talking right now. All right, we can do this the easy way, partner. We can do it the hard way. Get your butt to the jail or I'm going to shoot you. Because if you're wondering who I am... Uh, indeed, I am wondering who the heck you are. I'm Doc Colt, the bounty hunter. Hey, Doc. You've been busy. Well, you know me. You got a problem? Then I'm the solution. Especially when it comes to the bounty hunting recently. <laughs> well then, are you up for another one? Because I just got a very special case that came in. Lay it on, Miss Sheriff. Well, it seems that I have a bounty for a faction known as Sybaris. A whole faction? Who put a one out on that? Ah, well, that's the thing. The saying you're ordinary bounty. As a matter of fact, it didn't come from the Texas Rangers up in New Alamo. Strangely enough, this one came from a faction known as Cryptic Arcane. Cryptic Arcane? Who are they? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't have a whole lot of information about them, but they are putting a hefty fee out for Cybris if you're interested. Right now, this isn't an official sanctioned bounty by the people at up in New Alamo, so I advise you to be careful on this one. Alrighty then, what information do you have of this Cerberus? Well, uh, as for them, we haven't had any trouble with them in these parts. They pretty much stay themselves and assassinate any bandit clans around here, pretty much keeping the area safe. That's why the Texas Rangers turns a blind eye away from them. Uh, that's the thing, Doc. I... I don't know. Something tells me there's more than meets the eye on this one. So that's why I wanted you to go and investigate. I don't like the sound of this cryptic arcane. All right, Sheriff, then I'll go gather up me some supplies and head on out. All right, good luck. You should be able to find Cypress up a little north. 
Just keep traveling when you see a little green. You'll know what I mean. Is there anything else you'd like to report? Well, I got a weird static thing on the TV that came in and heard a voice. You did? Yeah, but I couldn't make it out, and so I put a DVD in. Alrighty then. You realize you could just watch stuff on the laptop as well. Yeah, but I like to watch stuff the classic way. Alrighty. Well, the one you need to pack your things. What's going on? It seems that we got a new bounty and we need to go check it out and I'd like you to come with me. Alrighty, what are we gonna do? We're looking for these people known as Cerberus. Cerberus? Like the three-headed dog? No, that's just the name of their faction, calm down. I'm pretty sure they don't have a three-headed dog, four dogs. You know what, I don't know, but you need to quit being a, such a scaredy puss. Alright, alright, I will. Alrighty, gather your things up, we're heading out just now. Alrighty then. This could be my chance to find more information and get out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's hope. Looks scary to me. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, they say most of the attacks of the Cerberus faction were around these areas a bit far back, so it doesn't hurt to check. I guess so. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. This is giving me the creeps. Let's go back, please. Wait, I think something's up ahead. There's gotta be a way to open this up. Maybe we can find a switch or something. What in the world? I told you I had a bad feeling about this. What the hell? Suddenly I don't, uh, I don't feel so good. Uh, Luffy, uh, Luffy, my body, um, ugh, I feel really drowsy. I think it's time for a nap. My eyes starting to glitch out. I do not like that one bit. Doc, is that you? Luffy, little buddy, where are you? I think I'm crossed in this other cell. Oh, great. What did you get me into now? Me? I did no such thing. Mm-hmm. You're the one that wanted to go in the deep, dark cave. Yeah, and looks like I found something intuitive right? I did. Oh, man. I don't know how to get out of this one, little buddy. I ain't got no weapons or anything on me. You got anything over there? I got some fish! Now how in the world did you get fish? I guess I'm just lucky. Oh, my lord. Thank you, Doc. Uh, the sheriff said that these people was known as Cerberus. So, this is gonna be them, I believe. Let's hope it's not them other ones like Cryptid Arcane. Let's hope not. But they are the ones that put the bounty out for these fellas. Maybe I can figure it out why. Hmm. There's too many questions going on, Luffy. 
I guess we gotta figure them out ourselves. How do we do that? Sooner or later, one of them's gonna come in and ask us some questions. I'll do the talking if you can be quiet, because I don't think they're going to be, well, too kindly to you. What do you mean? Well, you're a cat. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, never mind. Just let me do the talking. Okay, okay, okay. All right, then. I guess we just play the waiting game right here, I bet. Are you sure that's wise? It's wiser than anything, I tell you. You just keep quiet, and we'll wait. Doc? What is it now? I'm bored. I'm bored too. Now keep quiet. We're going to play the quiet game. All right. Oh, what am I going to do with that cat? You love me. Never said I loved you. I just keep you around. Okay. Ugh. Hmm. I think I heard someone. You're right away? Uh, indubitably I am, and I thank you for your accommodations here. I do not! Quiet, little one, I'm talking. What the? Uh. Is that? Just talk. Indubitably! Hello! I am Luffy! Ron Schultz! Wait a minute, that's your last name? You never asked. All right, then. Uh, yeah, he's more annoying thing. than I am. Well, anyways, let me do the talking, <laughs> young one. Okay. As you may know, I am the leader of the Zippers Clan. Hmm. And you guys left a hefty blood trail for me to track. I do admit it was tough, but luckily there was two noses able to sniff you out. Yes, I have a good sense of smell. Quiet. Shut up, you rat. Shut up, I knife you. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy. I don't want any trouble. I'm just That's here on now. We're I'm... here for an interrogation. We yeah. want to know why you're here, what's your business, and who you're working for. Well, as you can see, uh, I'm pretty sure you can tell I'm a bounty hunter, because I, well, looking for a small bounty, but... I was asked to investigate a certain, how you say, faction of these here parts because me and my little town that I'm with, we never heard of them. But we have heard of you guys. And so well, I decided know. to pick my curiosity, if you don't mind, and see what was with. Did you know who you got the bounty from? I wanted to post it. To be honest with you, I'm not really for sure. That's the reason why I came to investigate it. Why would they put a bounty on you? And who are it's they exactly? Really? Oh, we, we have raided their, ba their bases and some of their camps. Well, that would explain why they want to get a hold of you. And we want to know if you're part of them or not. Hmm. Let's see here. Cryptid Arcane, if I remember, is the one that put it out. Let me just say I'm a freelancer. I'm no with none faction. Right, not yet, mind you, but I don't think I find these ones fairly particular in my favor. So, no, I'm not with this Cryptic Arcane, as you put it. What makes you think we should believe you or not? Whether you believe it or not... As I can tell with this little sensor on my eye, I know that you're using a voice modulator under that mask. So I know that you guys are playing games trying to fill me for information, but as you know, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> as we can tell, you are very robotic. You did do some scans. Indubitably, I am. Well, from what we can tell, we were trying to discuss if we can either let you live or not. And, uh, and the way we see it, since you're not part of the Cryptic Arcane, don't have much information, then you're no good than a freaking stowaway, or let's just say, just a traveler. 
Oh, bad mom. Uh, uh, bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. Was the strange cat. And there be the quiet little one. We don't kill random people. But if you give us away, then I'm afraid that that's going to happen to you. Hmm. You do know our location and our basis. If it weren't for the kindness of my heart, I would have let my crewmates or my members just kill you right on the spot. But we're giving you a little bit of bit of our kindness. Mm. We might let you go, or we can keep you here prison. Well, as you can see, I don't particularly find that in my favor of being a prisoner. Because I'm particularly looking for someone, or something, to be honest with you. If you want more information, I can tell you. One of the reasons that I'm out here besides investigating Cryptid Arcane, is I believe they might know something of my past. It's kind of a long story, mind you. <clears throat> Unlikely story, but it's your quest, I guess. And do uh, Let me ask you something. Go ahead. You say you're a bounty hunter. And you can travel. Yes. Have you traveled up to the north yet? There's a northern territory. I think I've only been down here in the southern territory just a bit. I don't know much about this world. To be honest with you, I just woke up about three to four weeks ago in an underground facility. Yep, you did. I found him there. Be quiet. Mm. That rat's annoying. I'm a cat! Rats! Easy. Mm. Bat. Now, oh, now, let's all Shut calm up. down. I'm, I'm sorry. My friend there gets a bit anxious. I apologize on his behalf. Seriously, well, a talking cat is the most crazy thing you've seen in these parts? Not really. No, not at all. There you go. You've seen worse and uglier. I've had my few run-ins myself. Mm. Here's what I'm gonna do. Go on. We have a... You want to leave. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be killed. I do not. Then how about we make it? A deal. Let's say, yes. yes. A deal, you say. A What's deal in? for your freedom... Mm. And for us to not kill you and your cat. Alright, I don't think I have much options, so I think I'll have to accept this deal. Well, we have a task for you. What may if that you can be? find a way to get us over to the northern area, and be able to bring us back safe and sound within the five days of this week, then we might, then everything will go smoothly. Out of exchange of letting you go a lot. You say within five days. That might be a little tough on my end. I mean, I can try. Mm. Well, me. Well, you have five days. It's not the big of a deal, but we do need help going to the northern territory for a more deal. Hmm might be useful in your favor if it's what you're looking for. It could more information be. about yourself. Alrighty. Just my <laughs> work for me. I guess I or have to accept know. it. Oh really? Okay. You're just gonna accept it from, from a stranger. I thought you will put up more of a fight. Well, to be honest with you, I think of it like this. I'm already caught. You got me with my pants down. I might as well accept this deal while the getting's good. I may not know a lot, but I know what to do in the right situation. <laughs> Is that so? What? I'm sarcastic. Hmm. 
But with this said, finding the pieces you're looking for is going to be a bit tough on my end. And I'm also looking for something as well, so it could be connected. I think it'd be best in my favor to do so. I believe so. Well, if you agree to this term, then we can call it a temporary truce. That way we can help each other out until the qu- our tasks are done. And oh. we don't have to see each other again. Alrighty. Good, sir. Do you got a re- particular reason you like to stare at me for? No particular reason. All right. Well, well, I can see yeah, so that's a reason. I'm sorry. My eye malfunctioned there for a second. I was having a bit of a hectic there. Anyways, yes, I'll be happy to do this. Hello, Saria of Days and their fabulous performance. Hello. So, do we have a deal? I don't know. I don't think I can particularly trust someone in a mask. Oh. You didn't think you have the type of manners. Let's just say when I make a deal, I like to look at the person in the eyes. I see. Well then. How about now? Hmm. I don't think I saw this coming, but... You didn't think a woman could be able to be a leader? Mm, Not that. Just wasn't really expecting it, to be honest with you, with all the cloak and dagger, to be honest with you, but I guess it's something to be expected out here. (laughs) And let me see this. Judging by your eyes, you've seen a lot. And you want to be good with these people you got here. I can tell. I think you're mm-hmm. trustworthy. Hmm. Some of that may be true. Other than that, you got keen eyes. Thank you me. have been through some stuff, so... I mean, wouldn't anyone be through this type of hell? Well, that's true, but to be honest with you... I don't know much of hell... Especially when I just woke up a couple of weeks ago. But I think I reckon I might see it soon enough. Well, since I removed my mask and I'm looking at you eye to eye, do we have a deal now? Yes, we got a deal. (laughs) Then let our choose commence. All right. You don't have to worry about me attacking anyone since we have a truce. Truce or not, I'm still not going to trust you, or anyone besides my comrades. Keep that in mind. Well, I guess so. These are some of the papers that we believe you are looking for. However, there isn't much to look at. Well, it's better than nothing. Let me see real quick. Wait. This is... What's wrong? Did you find something you were looking for? Huh. Sorry, I did find something, but it's not enough for what I'm searching for. Well, it's better to find something to start than finding nothing at all. You're right about this. It's a good start. Thank you very much. Also, I want to request that you can give me an extended on the time and date since flying in a way to the northern area will take some time. Hmm. All right. How about two weeks? That way you have more time to prepare. That'll work. Thank you very much. Wait a sec. This is a military high wire communication radio that is able for you to contact us once you are able to find us a way to get to the northern side. 
That will be useful, indeed. However, we did manage to add a few tweaks to the radio if something were to go wrong. What do you mean, go wrong? The deal was that when you are able to find a way to get us over in two weeks, you will be able to contact us when it's ready. However, if anyone but you uses this radio to contact us, we will remote detonate that radio into a million pieces and then the deal is off. Along with our truth agreement. Is that clear, Doc? Crystal. Good. Thank you again for the help, and I promise that I will find a way to get us over the northern side as part of our deal. No need for thanks. Try to stay out of trouble, Doc. Will do. By the way, what does Doc stand for anyway? I honestly don't know, but I'm hoping I'll be able to find that out soon. Stay safe, Doc. I hope you find what it is you're looking for. As do I. You need to come with us, Doc. Governor Longhorn needs to, wishes to speak with you. Really? A couple of people like you was sent to come get me. Well, back when I was a boy, Uncle George was a one-eyed, two-legged, one-armed, back-twisting guy. You two look like you're short one, two lug nuts, let me just say. Golly! That was a longhorn. Alrighty, take me to her. I've already sent my little pal to town. Might as well head with y'all. Now you find out when you get there. All right, then. Hop on my steed, woo, swerving, lit off the meat. Bunch of bad wenches, all that I need. Also gotta fulfill the prophecy. Who I am right now is it who I'm gonna be. I'm a peasant at the present with visions of royalty. And if the sight's right soon, I'll be seated on the throne. Entering to no one with subjects here living to spoil me. I learned to respect, even right now I'm going on a quest. Suited in the design, oh, I'm a best dressed. If they strike me down, I'ma die looking fresh. Hell yes, but I ain't stressed. I swing the sword and slay the souls in my